In this section, we'll talk about select helpers. So when we select columns from a data set, like the discussed data set, we can select them by name, like moral one, or by position, like position one. But sometimes you want to select columns based on a rule, something about their column name. So you can select, say, columns that start with you using the starts with function. So instead of typing in the names of your columns that you want to select, you can use one of these select helper functions. So let's get all the columns that start with you. That's just user ID. Um, it might be more useful to get all of the columns that start with moral. And that gives us our seven moral discussed questions. This can be really useful if you have a complicated data set with a lot of columns, but they follow some sort of regular naming pattern. Just the same as starts with, you can choose ends with. So let's get the first question from each. So all the columns that end with one, moral one, sexual one, and pathogen one. We can also select columns that contain a string. So use the contains function. So let's anything that contains the string ID. It doesn't matter what position it is in, the start, the end, or what. So we get user ID and ID here. Another useful function is numRange. So this function takes two arguments. One is the beginning of the name. So let's select all of the moral columns and a range of numbers. So all the moral columns that end in two, three, or four. So we have moral two, moral three, moral four. Let's also talk about the match operator. So this is a function in R that lets you check if values from one vector are contained inside of another vector. So we could make the vector C, A, T. So just the those three letters. And we can check to see, are they in letters? And we find, yes, true. These Each of these three items in the vector are in this larger vector letters. If we add the numeric value 1, we find that Yes, the first three are contained in letters, the last one isn't. Now, how can we use this in our um, data wrangling? We most often use it in a filter statement. So let's take discussed, and we're going to, um, and we're going to filter out some specific users. Let's say you know that users 1 and 100 are, um, are researchers and you need to get rid of them. So remember, filter keeps everything that evaluates to true. So if we check to see if the user ID is in a vector that contains user IDs we want to filter out, say 0 and 1, that will just keep only 0 and 1. So what we can do is put a not symbol before that and then we keep all the IDs that are not in this vector. So that gets rid of user IDs 0 and 1.